Probably with your bitch, bro. I bought her a push off a piece of my endorsement. Richer than my classmate. She know I might kiss her. Now I'm on the schedule. Cause it on that beat. Right out of bounds. Out of bounds. 40 cal. 30 rounds. You make it from nothing. Such a wonderful feeling. Hey y'all, welcome back to the Round Around Show. Today we got Chris Lights. Yes, sir, we're here at Bud Wallet. We're going to talk to you a little bit about where he's at with the draft process, how his experience was at the Razorbacks, and why he likes that. Trying to get money, pat on my back as I did it. I pull up in four, blowing smoke through the cell. You make it from nothing, such a wonderful feeling. My clothes expensive, my hoes are pepper. My cars go fast, my pockets is fat. I take your bitch, and we go shopping in sacks. I'm a popular Mac, niggas hustling back, so they stuck in the sack. Playing Russian roulette, me, I'm puffing the best. I'm a fucking exec, money, power, respect. All my weapons is fresh. On the west, I'm a wreck. I'm the fucking connect. I can cut you a check. Yes, sir. All right, so we hopping in the Tesla, so I gotta ask you. A car guy? I am a car guy. All right, what's your favorite types of cars? Uh, I like Mustangs. Mustang. Um, a little bit cheaper on the exotic side, but if I had to, I would get a McLaren. You cashed out? If I had McLaren? To cash out McLaren okay, sure. 570s, 720s. With, with uh, McLaren. Drop top. I want the latest, the newest. I don't really like the drop tops like that. Okay. Oh yeah. I want the, okay. P one, like a P one or what? All right, you throwing a little too much. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm a car See, guy. I'm, I'm a car guy. Okay. You but, like the style? Nah, I like. I know the uh, the series for the Mustangs, but the McLarens, okay. I kind of just like the body style. Okay. The, All right, man. Yeah. So you like? Are you into fashion? I, I peeped the. Yeah. I ain't seen those pants before. But. Yeah. Nah, I actually like hair and stuff like that. I like to wear things that's just yeah. a little different for sure. that you might not see too often. Um, for sure. But yeah, I'm a little. A little, a little in the fa uh, fashion. I'm just getting started though. Okay. Yeah. We're doing a giveaway with Unfavorite, um, and they heard you were coming on, so they want to give you some merch. Oh yes, sir. Oh, my favorite. I started rocking with them. Yeah. For sure. This hard. You said Unfavorite. Yeah, Unfavorite brand. Appreciate We're doing a giveaway with them. Thank you. So well, I did a little poll Q and A off okay. Instagram. I'm, I'm gonna start there. So what was the best thing about Miami, and what was the best thing about Arkansas? Okay, um, so let's start with Miami. Miami was cool because, like, for me in high school um, and growing up in, in the DMV area, I was a little, the community was a little small, so um, I really just wasn't used to like a city like Miami. So I got to learn a lot my freshman year, and then I had some like some real good like guys I came in with: Lonnie Walker, Dan Gat, um, Sam Bordenberg, who was who was still there, like. Just overall, like the experiences we had freshman year, like with them, was just like something I'll, I'll never forget. Just you know, being out in, in Miami, South Beach. Uh, you know, I wasn't a guy that, that went out a lot, but freshman year, like I kind of expanded that boundary a little bit. And, you know, it was just cool. And then we were really talented in terms of basketball my freshman year. I think we um, got up to rank like eight. Yeah, you're like the top scorer at the program or something like that. Um, not not my freshman year, um, but I definitely had a, a great time. Um, we just had a lot of injuries my, um, in my years at, at, at Miami, so it was kind of tough um, on the mental side of it. But I learned a lot, and I, I got a chance to you know really play against you know, the ACC's best. So talking about the social life, yeah, I'm not familiar with the program. So if I was going for a social life in college and I was playing ball, yeah. I would definitely go pick Miami. That's the, the thing about it, though, is like Miami itself, like the school, mm -hmm. is kind of small. Like it's not that many, um, not that many students. It's, it's not foot like by the. I like a no, it's not in South Beach. It's oh, okay, okay. Coral Gables. All right. So it's still it's still nice. The campus is beautiful, but it's not where everybody like thinks. Think you on you on the beach? Mm -hmm. it's, it's not that. Okay, and then Arkansas. Um, Arkansas, you know, it's it's only been a year. Like in Miami, I had I was there for four years, and I was only here for a year. So um, definitely like a. Uh, environment change. Um, this was more of a college, like college town. Yeah, so Kamani said that too on the interview. It's just more of like a college town. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I always wanted to go to a school like this. So yeah, I definitely got that more of a, um, that different type of experience. And I was happy because, you know, I always, at Miami, I kind of felt like I wanted to experience like just what a college town would be like. So coming here, man, it was definitely, you know, um, a difference. You know, I learned a lot here as well. Um, you know, I got a chance to make it to the Elite Eight, like that's something yeah. not everybody gets a chance to do, so I'm definitely grateful for my time here. And, um, 
So what, what brought you out? Was it the program? Was it the college town vibe? Or was it a <laughs> it coach was recruiting? Or? Yeah, it was, um, i say it was a little bit of the coaches and then um, what they had done the previous year. Okay. Um, you know, I wanted to be in the tournament. That was pretty much my goal, you know, because I really wasn't going to come back another year for college. <laughs> this is my fifth year, but yeah, I ended up it. doing it anyway. And I chose Arkansas and it, it worked out for me. Yes, sir. We glad you did. Yeah, for sure. Did you know anybody when you were transferring here? Here? I yeah. didn't know anybody. Dang. Didn't know. I knew, like, of, like, the players. Like, mm -hmm. I knew who I was going to be playing with, but other than that, no, I didn't. Who'd you who'd you get tight with? Who'd you click with off the bat? Um, I would probably say Jax, uh, Jax, Stan, and JD. Just cause in the summertime we was always together. We we stayed at the view, so um, we spent a lot of time with each other. But okay. and in terms of the team, like I feel like I was cool with with everybody. You know? Yeah, and that was something I kind of not worried about going into it because I was gonna be with a lot of like new guys, and I was only gonna be here for one year, so was gonna be a lot of chemistry but I think we bonded pretty well you know, all the guys were cool so I was happy about that all right what was the funniest memory the funniest <laughs> I'd probably say the funniest is so like after the uh, after the Auburn game and everybody was still like out there mm -hmm. I had kind of like maneuvered my way back to the locker room because that's why I thought everybody went Mm -hmm. Like the whole team, so I get back to the locker room and I see Coach Mush in there. He taking off his shirt, but he got somebody helping him take off his mm -hmm. shirt. Cause this is the time he got the sling, and he couldn't really lift his shoulder up. So I get in there, and he he got somebody taking off his shirt. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> so I just go back out, back out, cause I didn't see nobody else in there. And then I see him following me. He coming into the like into the stands. And they all going crazy. He got his shirt off. I'm like, man, this is different. So it was definitely like that was one of the more funny things that I, I peeped this year. Yeah. The night after the Auburn game was the first time I met you too. I don't know if you yeah. remember that because it was like midnight out on Dixon when I said what's up to you. But, yeah. Um, and then the things that you practice to overcome your height and dominate in college. Um, I wouldn't say like I particularly practice anything specifically. I think like playing basketball, I've always been like on the shorter side, so. It's just become like became something I was used to, and I kind of just always treated it like I gotta work, you know, a lot harder, you know, to to get the things I want to get to be successful like how I want to be. So um, I would say like the speed of your release, like when you go to shoot, I think your your jump shot either you gotta have elevation or your jump shot gotta be real quick. Man, I love watching your jump shot. You, you got ele elevation. Look, you looking like you hitting double tapping A. It's it's the biggest it's the biggest dagger in, in basketball when you. Play that good of defense. Couple moves right here, right into a pull up. Another mid range. And we talked about a three pointer. <laughs> you be jumping up in the air, and I'm like, bro, yeah, that's crazy. I was so appreciate right, it. There's any other questions? Nah, that's all the questions from our Instagram poll. Once again, y'all check out check out the Instagram poll. Submit your questions before we got a guest coming off. You want to get in there? You, can you tell us a little bit about where you're at in the draft process? Um, right now, I am. <laughs> Kind of narrowing down the agencies I'm gonna sign with. Um, I should have an answer by the end of this week. Okay. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at, and then from there is is basically um, opportunity, opportunity based. You know, whatever whatever opportunities come my way, that's kind of you know where I'm gonna go with it. Um, but right now we just working. We enjoying the time off in the summer. It's not really time off. We still working. yeah. You still got bro. I think it was yesterday. Um, I hopped on your Instagram live and you was in there just. Hitting hundreds of so shots, and yeah. I was like, "Damn!" Yeah, I wanted to kind of like I wanted to do more, like get my like um, I hate calling them my fans, but like the people that follow me on Instagram, yeah. supporters. Like, yeah, supporters. That's a better word. Um, I just wanted to get them like more engaged. I feel like the past year and a half, I haven't really been super engaging on on social media. Yeah. That's because I've been taking time off. You gotta focus on yourself sometimes too. Sometimes, hell yeah. So. Um, but it's summertime, so I, I was like, might as well just start just doing, you know, different things. Yeah, that was one of the reasons why I thought you'd be perfect for this because, you know, I told you, let's, let's tell them why you like that. Yeah. But then also, <laughs> once I posted it, I had like, a couple people hit me up and they're like, oh, this is great. I'm excited because he kind of, he's kind of a mystery. He's kind of quiet. Yeah. 
And I was like, I can't. there's a, there's a few yeah. athletes who it's like they're high performers, but they're not trying to show their ass be in everybody's yeah, face. They yeah. just keep to themselves. So that's just how I've always been that way, like real real quiet to myself. But like once you get to know me, like I'm I'm the same way. I'm like I'm an observer. I like to. I like to analyze. Yeah. I'll speak. I'll, I'm I, I'm not going for this. And like, if I'm friends with people, I'm not going. But it's like, generally, nah, I want to see. I want to catch the vibe. I want to see what's up with. Yeah. Nah, it's, things it's like you. this is cool because you get to. It's not often where I'm just get on my phone and just start talking about you know, what I do and stuff. So like, this give you a chance to, I guess, you know, kind of see who I am as a person. And like, even, I'm, I'm still a like a people person. I would yeah. say I'm not super social, like especially outside, but. Like I do like being around. Like you keep to your like, circle though. Yeah. Yeah. You big on energy then, like people. Yeah. yeah that, I gotta limit like a social battery. Yeah. You know? hundred percent, bro. Oh my god. Yeah. It run out quick sometimes. I, I have. I have learned this year. My battery is not what I thought it was. Sometimes. It's definitely changed. It used to be. Uh, I can tolerate it a lot more, but I'm getting older now, so. Kind of. I should sense. not. I should not be falling off though, cause I'm. Yeah. I'm younger. How old are you? I'm 18. 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should not be <laughs> 18. That was my freshman year in Miami. So, how long running? But even I've never been a like super social person. Like, I'll talk to you if you like talk to me. Like, I ain't gonna go out my way though. <laughs> like Alright, so what's it like going through the draft process? It's not like you've ever done it before. So, is it kind of like every day is a new day, or is it kind of like there's somebody guiding you, or what's up with that? Um, well, I've had like so many like friends like basketball kind of allows you to meet so many people so i've had a lot of friends and they've kind of like informed me on the process and stuff but you know, at the end of the day it's you know it's really up to you you know how much work you want to put in and if you really want to get there then you're going to do the work that that it asks of you so um, i'm not really sure about the, like, the whole process i think for like first rounders and, like guys that's going in the first round, yeah, they got like guys that's helping them with it, but I haven't signed with the agent yet, so. It also, I'm thinking it kind of helps because you have, just off, off the, your close teammates, it's JD, Amude, yeah. Jalen Williams, and you all declared for the draft, so yeah. it's kind of like, you can hit them up and be like, hey bro, what is this form I gotta sign, you know what I'm yeah, talking about? Like, what you, you got going on, yeah, yeah. it's you yeah. honestly. Do you feel, because this is something people might not notice, you're going from, you know, if you're gonna be in the NBA, you're kind of like not leaving people behind, but you know what I'm talking about. You got to glow up. So yeah. my question is, do you feel like you can still be friends with all the people you were here <clears throat> with here? I think the, the definition of friends probably needs to be established because like we can be cool. Like if I see you yeah. and like, yeah, we can chop it up a little bit, but it's like if you get to that point, like your goals and your circle has to be Gotta aligned be with what you're trying to do. Yeah, that's going to be natural for you. You already got it yeah. down pat <laughs> stay in alignment yeah so. stay on your mission so i think for a lot of some other people who aren't like in alignment with themselves they can get lost in that though because they're like yeah trying to figure out like how was friends with them here but then i got all this to work on and all it's those ties tough. it's definitely tough because you know sometimes it'd be those the guys you grew up with yeah. not to say that they're bad people but are they helping you attain attain those goals what big sean say uh if you weigh me down, then I gotta remove you. Or it's, not, it's all it's always all love, but it's like you gotta put yourself. Sure. You one of the hardest things to do, but it's necessary. Yeah. That's a that's a tough side of that. People yeah. don't see. I hate I hate when I be seeing the comments with like, oh, but they gonna get all this money and blah blah blah. And it's like money don't they make don't up for emotions. Yeah, they don't be understanding. That's why I wanna show them for this. This this is a thought I had because uh, Trey had me chilling in your apartment the other day. Trey Wade? Uh, oh, uh, uh, Charles, Charles Trey, yeah. yeah. Uh, I was sitting there and I was like, hold up. For some of, for some of y'all, y'all about to go from apartments to mansions. You know what I'm talking about? Like, a lot <laughs> yeah. of these college athletes are living in apartments. I mean, with NIL, like, I, I feel like it's, they keep getting bigger. So I'm seeing guys, you know, that's getting these crazy contracts. It might... You might start living. You might come matches. out of high school. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. crazy. Which is cool, man. I'm definitely happy for a lot of these guys. Cause a lot of people don't understand like how much like work and how much like it's stressful on the mental sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's, it's things you can't control, and you just gotta take it on the chin. Next day, keep going. Yeah. 
So how do you think NIL has changed the game? It's so fresh. What have you seen so far? Um, I think it it, get, it just gives uh, college athletes like a chance to, to broaden their brand. Yeah. You know, their, their name means a lot more now. Um, it factors in like where where kids want to go to school now. Cause let's say yeah. you want to go to like a bigger school, or you want to stay home. Like if you stay home, you might get more of the deals because you're a hometown kid. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's just a lot, and I feel like it's it's still a lot more that's gonna come come into play you know, in the next few years. And it keeps growing. So. That's the only problem I see with NIL, and I don't want to touch on it too much because I'm all for the positives. You know, yeah. a lot of these people are coming from having to support themselves or single parents supporting them, and it's like so it's a great to allow them to meet that car payment and not have yeah. to worry about food. But like what you touched on about, you know, it kind of might motivate where you want to go to school. Mm -hmm. I can see it turning into a kind of recruiting thing. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Where they're like, you want to, yeah, sure. especially around here where we have like all the big companies, corporations, and the big last names. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. They could kind of be like, yeah, let's, let's start getting, I would love it for here. Let's start getting people to go to Arkansas because they got the bigger contracts, but it could turn into something. Yeah. I mean, the thing about that is like, you don't know how much that's already happened behind the scenes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I guess they're just gonna start doing it. Yeah, it's like now it's it's somewhat legal now. So, yeah. But the influence has always been there. For sure, money, money, money didn't just get invented. Yeah, facts. Right. What was your most memorable play of this last season? My favorite play is I got beat. I got beat on a. I don't know if it was a door or if it was a just a regular cut. And I went up there and blocked it. Because if I didn't block it, I was probably coming out. So I was real happy about that. All right, my, I, so I will remember for you the play when you were like, you did like a, a mid-air layup and the ball didn't even go in until you were like out of bounds behind. You know what I'm talking about? Where, Where you're I like, was falling. Yeah, and you like threw it, over threw, my threw head, it behind. Yeah. Did he even look at, over the head? Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Sports Center top 10, are you paying attention? Put that one in the top three or four tonight, maybe number one. Da, 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 da. That's all you can say on that one. <laughs> no look. Like, I wouldn't say that's my favorite play because like, I was trying to draw the foul, but I at least knew where the basket was. <laughs> so I was like, all right, man. I'm just I was throwing this up real quick, thinking I'm going to get the foul. It's going to be an end one. And I didn't hear the call. I was like, all right. But it went in. So I was like, he feels, boy. No, his legs burning. So you, did you go to class here? Or you're, because you're a graduate student. So uh -oh. how did you? <laughs> I went to class like the first semester. I had a couple classes, but most of my classes were online, especially okay. this semester. I got all of online classes. I was going to say, what well, was the college class life here? But then I was like, I don't know if you. It was cool the first two weeks. Yeah, I was walking around on campus. I was like, okay, this this college town for sure. And Where then I started doing online? these hills. Mm -hmm. I, couldn't, I couldn't walk all day like that. Do a lot of people recognize you, come up to you? Here, yeah. It was cool. But I tell like your social battery run out. Then you like, I need to throw the shades on, I get home. The, I keep the headphones. So I just started buying shades because I don't like. I don't really like to make too much eye contact. And then the thing like I can't see that well. So like people be like, yo, I saw you. You didn't say anything to me. I'm like, I promise you, like I didn't see you. <laughs> I really didn't see you. But no, this, I like the uh, the campus here too. There's a lot of students here though. Sure. Who, what's your, what's your favorite artist? Let, let's put on a song. What, I think I saw you post yesterday. It was like, a yeah. Baby, Gunna, Baby, Gunna, Gunna Young Juicy, Boy, Juice. Put on, put on your favorite song by one of them or whatever. Okay. What did, you got YouTube music? Yeah. Yes, sir. That's what you got? I have never met anybody else with it. Look at that. No, nah, YouTube music, huh? Let me see. I see, listen to a lot of uh, unreleased juice. Bro, everybody's staring. It's kind of funny. Because even this Tesla. This Why? We got the camera on the outside, too, yeah. so everybody see the cameras. Oh. They don't know what celebrity you're here. Right. I ain't a celebrity, man. You humble, too. I fuck with that. That's how, just how I was raised, for real. Staring like a mummy. <laughs> yeah, I seen that one. <laughs> They're like, are the windows tinted? Yeah. Uh, the back windows are barely tinted. The front ones are clear. 
So they can probably. Put some lean in this coat, yeah. Mm. In the pants, 60 levels up, put some hoes that I can't cope, yeah. They got like headsets. I heard it. Yeah. Seven two two zero. That's why I went through. Like my first life experience. Tell you trippy balling with it. I grew my dreads back, my head back. Twenty M's, I hit that. Run up on them head tap, head lap, fist tap. Animal queen, scarf for the head wrap, head traps, uploading your gun, that shit on fair apps. You just saw my uncle, my grandma basement, that was her head child. What's one thing that would surprise people most to know about you? Can't figure out how to ask this question. One thing that would surprise people most? Yeah. I don't know. Like I make music sometimes in my, my spare time. My okay. Free time. Um, I actually just recorded for the first time. Yeah. It's cool, like once you get in there, it's not as easy as like anything. You just I didn't get in there and just <laughs> For some reason I thought stupid. I was just gonna get in the studio and the song was gonna come out. Stupid, nah. Nah. <laughs> they definitely gotta work them guys is talented for sure. Yeah. You fuck with baby? For real. Now they can't resist us. Yeah, I'm trying to diss us. Really need to miss us. Probably with your bitch, bro. I bought her a push. I bought peace of my endorsement. Richer than my classmate. She know I'm like kiss test. Now I'm on the cage. I can't come in last place. I got to meet with a G. The calories on the tax bill. So you know that me don't go hard till my last day. Still can get a thousand pounds a week. The gas weight. I got six watches. I'm in here the time. I'm going all out. If it's about mine, I'm getting my shine on. I've been on my grind. Feel like I'm different, I'm one of a kind Bring your Birkin bag, oh, you here, yeah. keep her up the bar Baby, you look better, nigga, you should Frisco, take it all like Had to play my role, now I'm taking charge Just got off a roll, made the brody take the charge We're doing that fano with those sticks, yeah And we don't do them little planes, we on a big jet My dog still moving, I came and he ain't quit yet I had to tell him when he came, don't bring no bricks back I got six watches, I'm in here the time I'm going all out, if it's about mine I'm getting my shine on, I've been on my grind so if people can't tell already from from just hearing you talk and kind of getting to know you a little bit, but I'll, I'll ask you straight up, what do you think makes you like that? Like what what sets you apart? I'm just different, man. Like everything, like everything about me, be different. In your mindset, and your how you move, how I approach things. And that's just something I, I pride myself on. I'm stubborn too, though. Like yeah. that's that's how. Like it's. It's give and take with it. Like you want to be different, then you gonna figure out how to do it your own way. But yeah. Some a lot of the times growing up, yeah, my my people used to tell me I'm just stubborn, mm -hmm. and I'ma do it. I'ma do it my own way. Yeah. And it's it's positives with that, cause you gonna figure it out eventually. But it takes a little bit more time. But once you get it, mm -hmm. you got the it. thing of, the thing I learned is like you can still like do things your way, but also continue to take advice and listen to other people. You ADHD or you got anything like that? Uh, I'm ADHD. I got dyslexia. I got like all of them. I just like once I learned how to cope with them and manage yeah. them. Yeah. It's like a, it's like they're like tools instead of. <laughs> That's yeah. Um, my mom was a nurse when I was um, basically born, so I didn't really get diagnosed for any of that. Yeah. But I'm sure I probably got some yeah. of that stuff. But like you were saying, you learn how to cope with it. You learn how to. Cause I don't really think they're hindered, uh, like things that are that are bad, like negative. I think it's just it would, it's what makes you you. You gotta yeah. learn how to how to deal with it. I and mean, once you do, that's a positive. That's a tip for all y'all. Anything that can be you think can be holding you back can also, if you learn how to conquer it, can be used as a tool. Yeah. Don't let don't let you get in your own way. Don't let stuff stop. That's stop great advice right there. So I can I can tell you in tune. Is it is it more of a is it your personal journey? Is it your spirituality? Is it like what what makes you into it? You kind of just say mm -hmm. you want to do it. You you pride yourself on being a part. But. Um, I think so. The last two years for me have been like really tough, like on, on, like on the mental side of it for me. Um, Cause my last year at Miami, I got hurt in my second game, second game of the season. I was going crazy at the last day too, and then I rolled my ankle, and I was out the rest of the season. And it was tough because, like, I was doing everything I could to get back, and I had never been hurt to the point where I couldn't like, like play for like two weeks. And I had missed the rest of the season, man. And it was tough because 
I was doing all the rehab, but my ankle just wasn't ready. Like, um, Especially when that's like your life at the at the time. And that's how, like, for me, basketball has been my my whole life. Like, like everything I do has been dedicated towards basketball. And sometimes, like, I've learned that that, that can be a good thing, but you gotta have balance. Like, you can't. You that's don't, a gym you don't, right there. Yeah, balance is key to life. You so the balance is like. You gotta learn to have fun with, with the journey and what you're on. Where you're where you're at right now is exactly where you need to be. You just have to understand that and embrace it. To understand that like you can keep moving forward even when you don't see the steps ahead. Like one of the things I wrote down, sometimes I write quotes down. Yeah. Like if I think something throughout the day, I'll write it down. And one of the ones I, I wrote recently was like you gotta like when you get to the to the bottom of the hill, right? Like yeah, the steps to go up gonna be tough, but once you get to the top, like that's your highest point you've ever been. Yeah. And then hills most of the time are followed by other hills. So yeah. I posted something today too that was saying like, when the um, when you have ups and downs in your life, you get you get further. You get yeah. further in life when you have. You move faster with ups and downs. Yeah. And it was like two two balls, and one was on a straight line, just went straight, and the other one was up and down. So you just gotta understand that. There's gonna be ups and downs in your life, but don't don't lose yourself, don't lose your peace. In the downs, for sure. Yeah. I think that's the problem with, I'd say my generation, because I'm younger than you, yeah. and the younger we get, the harder it's gonna be, because I think technology and social media makes it so much harder. But when you hit those downs, mm -hmm. people think, oh, now my life's down. Like, yeah. nah, you gotta know. realize, ain't not, nothing's permanent. Nothing's permanent, even when you even when you win it. Giannis, Giannis yeah. uh, talks about that a lot. Even when you uh, you win, you gotta stay true to what you what you've been doing, what got you there. You know, it's work, okay to level up every now and then, but work through the lows, embrace the highs. Mm -hmm. None of it's temp I mean, none of it's permanent. I fuck it's permanent. All right, bro. It's permanent. Well, it's nice. Good having you on, bro. I think we kind of got to know you a lot better. Nah, fat. The last five minutes got real. For, for sure. <laughs> That's fine. I'm excited what you do. I hope I hope you get a good contract. I appreciate it. Uh, a team man. you like for sure. Yeah. This is this your passion, so excited yeah. to have you on, bro. Nah, I appreciate that, bro. Yes, sir. Fuck Thank y'all for having me on. For sure. Million dollar cribs, having million dollar dreams. And when you get it all, just remember one thing. Remember one thing. That one man could change the world. I'm like, man, this is different.